If you guys have not seen our unboxing video of this steak, go back and watch it up here. We are given our first steak a cook. We've had it, had it vacuum sealed. This is a filet mignon A5 Wagyu. That thing is just beautiful looking. Look at all that marbling in it. Normally a filet mignon don't look like that. It's all meat, but because of the Wagyu beef, uh, the marbling in these things are just amazing. So we're gonna keep it simple, salt, pepper, and per Bubba Lobuck, garlic powder. He says, uh, those three for meat are the best. We are only doing one steak. This is, uh, this is about 12 ounces filet. So we'll cook this up and we'll cut it in half and me and Heather will split it. Like I said in our uh, unboxing video, this steak is super filling. Like all that fat and just, just it, it's it fills you up so quick it's an amazing so we're gonna get started on it i got the traeger out there uh up to about 450 degrees maybe a little hotter because it is hot in texas right now um cut this vacuum seal bag open take out our steak and i'm gonna be very gentle with this going to do salt. I am doing uh, quite a bit of a coarse salt. I just preferential how I, how I like it on our steaks. Give it a little pat in there. Then a little garlic powder. Give this a flip. a little bit off to the side so I can roll the sides of the steak on there. Let's give it a little pat. Get a little bit of pepper on the side here. all those seasoning mopped up with the steak now we're gonna go where's the tongs we got the tongs we're gonna go outside and throw this on the grill show you how i'm gonna cook it hopefully i'll mess this thing up let's go all right we are exactly 450 degrees on this uh, i'm gonna pick this up and throw it on there and see what happens Got a nice clean grill. We cleaned it up before we start over here. I'm gonna start a stopwatch and I'm gonna flip this at two minutes. I'm gonna close it. Keep some of that heat in there. It's been two and a half minutes. Let's give, a, give the first look. I'm gonna flip it over to a separate part of the grill. Man, this is a really thick cut. May have to go a little bit longer. We're gonna do two minutes, two minutes, two minutes, or two and a half minutes, two and a half, two and a half, two and a half, and then we'll see how it looks. Also forgot to mention, we are using a pecan wood in this right now. Not sure if that's great for- Pecan or pecan? Pecan, pecan. <laughs> you say pecan, I say pecan. That's what we're using it right now. Not sure if that's great for Wagyu or not, I'm sure. I mean, it's a beef, uh, recommended for most beefs. So that's what we got in here. All right, that's another two and a half minutes. Starting to crisp up on that side a little bit there. We may do a little bit longer because that is a super thick cut. It is, smoke is smelling amazing. You can smell that. One thing I've noticed is when I get in there, open it up, flip it real quick, close it back down, we don't lose a lot of heat too, so. 
no grill master don't drill me in the, the comments please um, just sharing you know the different stuff we do with this and gosh it could use a little cleaning can it we clean the inside so it's funny i posted a picture uh, of these steaks on the traeger web uh, or facebook page and somebody made the joke that our steaks cost more than our grill does <laughs> that's all right work with what you got right all right been another two and a half minutes and you can see all the fat that's come off of the steak that's kind of melted right there it's kind of burnt down there but as long as we don't burn the steak we should be good that seems like the hottest part right there so we've been on 10 minutes so far since it's such a thick cut i probably should have cut it a little bit thinner we may go a couple more minutes we're looking for like a medium medium rare but being such a thick cut and only being able to get up to 450 degrees i think it will take a little bit longer so we'll keep going all right we've been a total of uh 15 minutes and i think we're gonna go ahead and take it off That should be perfect. Look at that goodness. Let's go. Let's get inside. It's too dang hot out here. Texas. We're going to give this a cover and let it rest for a minute. Uh, probably about 10 minutes. Just let all those juices Soak and render that fat. Give us about 10 minutes. We're gonna show you what this looks like on the inside and show you what we're having with it tonight. Moment of truth. Been about 10 minutes here. Right here, we got this little broccoli salad that Heather made up. If you don't like broccoli, you have to give this a try because you barely even taste the broccoli in it. It's raw. So you're not cooking or eating cooked broccoli. Uh, it's just the florets of the broccoli, which are really good. Um, I don't know, what, what else do you put in there? It, it's a low carb broccoli uh, salad. I'm gonna actually do a video on it when I make it the next time, but it's got, yeah. yeah, it's a low carb dressing you make and it's got cheese, sunflower seeds, onion. Oh, you're keeping us in suspense. Mm. That smells so good. Abby said it wants to look. <laughs> wow, look at that. Like, look at look at down here. Watch down here when I barely push on it. You'll see all that fat just kind of squish out that bottom. Or look at look at over here. Oh my gosh. It's just like, I'm ready to cut into it. We gotta cut into it, yeah, um, ah, the anticipation. Where should I cut at? I don't know. Well, you gotta cut it in half because we're each getting a piece. Well, we'll just cut it up into pieces and we'll eat it off the plate. I want you to, oh my gosh. Look at all that fat right there. Well, you might, this is the end piece, so it may be a little, I may have overdid it a little, yeah. The ends are definitely gonna be a little bit more well done, but a lot of this right here is just fat. All right, I want you to take the first bite. Oh my gosh, it smells delicious. I wish you guys could smell this stuff. Give me the camera. <laughs> is that it? Oh my god. <laughs> Hopefully you can hear me. I don't have a mic. I'm trying to talk yeah, loud. Yeah, yeah. Oh my goodness. Okay, you gotta try it. Alright. 
That was All right. good. Is it, is it as good as the restaurant was that one time? So far, so good. Mm. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. That is heaven right there. That is absolute heaven. Oh my gosh. That is so good. When you bite into it, just all those fat marblings just explode in your mouth. I may have used a little bit too much salt, but it's not bad. I like a salty steak. Um, I know it's usually down to preference. Um, I do like it a little bit saltier. This steak, it's amazing. I am gonna be trying other ways of cooking it. We are gonna be doing it, cooking them in the truck as we're out on the road. Um, I'll probably be doing on, on the pan, um, on our induction cooktop in the truck. Uh, if we're down for a weekend, I may try busting out the griddle that goes on top of the Traeger. One thing I really didn't like was it's such a fatty meat and those fats just start melting away and they were dropping down through the grate. I, I was like, oh my gosh, that's so much goodness just burning away, you know? So next time I've watched a lot of people cook them in pans in the kitchen and they don't add no salt or, or um, any butter or oil or anything like that. Cause as soon as you set it on the pan, those, uh, those fats just start melting and it cooks in its own fat. My favorite cut of meat. What about you? Oh yeah, 20 thumbs up. 20 thumbs up, yeah. We're gonna get our grub on. Hope you guys liked the video. Just, um, I'm gonna cut down the middle so you guys can see just Look at, oh my gosh, I don't even know if this is showing up in the camera. All oh, those little fat marblings yeah. all right there. That just melts in your mouth. Yeah, all that explodes when you, so the cook wasn't too bad. It was probably more of a medium also. It's more of but a medium. But it's still super tender. Oh my gosh, you hardly have to chew at all. It like just falls apart in your mouth. Oh my gosh. Yeah, we're getting our grub on. <laughs> we are done with this video. We will uh, catch you in the next one. We're probably gonna be getting back out on the road here. So uh, back to some vlogging stuff and checking out some cool scenery. And we hope you guys jo join along. Hope you guys liked the video. Um, didn't intend for it to be like a bragging video or nothing. It was just, this is our vice, you know, um, it was a celebration for our anniversary coming up and it w we wanted to do it for us, you know, so hope you guys liked the video. Thank you guys as always for watching and subscribing. And until our next video. Peace, love, and expediting. Phone keeps. Ah, I got an ant on me. <laughs> Tongue stuck to my microphone. Oh. <laughs> All right.